But the Bulls do not want to do not want to happen uh, more than anything, right? The, anything tomorrow is start losing today's lows, right? We don't want that, right? If you're a bull, uh, we don't want that. So, welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge master your process and own your future hey guys good evening everybody welcome to another edition of uh, the axis of trader.com nightly wrap-up show i uh, hope everybody had a good day hope everybody was prepared for today um hope again everybody is having a great year a very healthy year again at the end of the day uh without our health all this it doesn't make a difference with well, your dreams and aspirations and all that stuff health is the most important so going into 2023 if you haven't done so already again try to be a better friend to yourself i know loved ones are important we love our loved loved ones our wife our kids uh, our husbands everything in between our dogs but again if you're not around to see it it's not doing anybody any good so hopefully uh, you continue healthy blessings uh, for 2023. If you are brand new here, welcome aboard. Like I say, every single night here, uh, we try to give you the most unbiased uh, picture in the market uh, that is available, right? Via technical analysis. So if you can do so, be kindly, uh, click a like and subscribe uh, if you are a first timer. So let's talk about the tape. So if you go back to last night's video, and usually there's no Thursday night's video, but Tuesday my son had a game, so I usually replace uh, the day I miss. So let's talk about it, right? So the video that I recorded on the weekend, we talked about we, we needed potentially a dead cat bounce, right? Uh, it didn't come uh, Monday or Tuesday. It finally, excuse me, didn't come Monday. It finally came Tuesday. And that's what she said, right? So we finally got our dead cat bounce. And if you watched last night's video, we talked about, well, what happens next? If the bulls want to maintain this, right? The dead cat bounce, and this is all it was. Again, all you need to know is anything under the 50-day moving average that is a reversal reversal of trend day is a dead cat bounce again like i said last night's video so the question was can the bulls sustain a day two bounce right and the most important part of what i said on last night's video was the worst thing the bulls could possibly do is give up yesterday's lows right if they start giving up yesterday's lows and it starts breaking down the channel everything that we started seeing since we broke the 50-day moving average there's a possibility starts again. Did I did I think it was going to be this aggressive? And we'll talk. You know, we'll get. I'll show you the pivots in a second. No, I didn't think it was going to be this aggressive, right? Uh, we talk about this all the time. Um, you know, even though the market is below the 50-day moving average, the market's not going to go straight down. We know this, right? But the trend. You know, if you go back to video after video after video, we kind of talk about the same thing all the time. The market is not going to go straight down, but eventually, that's the theme, right? And that is. Uh, the most important part and most important aspect of controlling, you know, con who controls the 50 day kind of controls the day. Uh, and that's exactly what's happening. And today was a perfect example of if you didn't know what yesterday's channel was, if you did just closed your eyes and said, that's it, that was the bottom yesterday, it was the reversal. Well, you're not gonna have, you're not pretty much having a good day today. And this is kind of what we always say, guys, prepare, prepare, prepare. You, you can't go into the market, um, you know, blinders on, eyes wide open, you know, excuse me, eyes wide shut, thinking no matter what happens, you know, everything is going to be okay. The market doesn't work that way. It never works that way. And the most important part is when you, when you, when you're making your watch list based on uh, the, the night's video, right? Based on the previous night's video, excuse me, video night, previous night's research, um, you kind of get a sense of what is what. And, you know, we had a really strong index day yesterday, right? Um, a lot of strong bounces, but not a lot of strong technical bounces. And if you look at, and we discussed this last night in the video, if you look at the stocks that were very, very strong, right? Apple, right? Meta, Netflix was, was strong. But the one thing we didn't see yesterday, and this is something we, we discussed in the webinar on, on uh, yesterday in the afternoon. Uh, we discussed it this morning in the, video, in, in the webinar before the, you know, the 8.30 da data came out. And the one thing we did not see yesterday, and this is how you know it was a dead cat bounce. Well, number one, we're underneath the 50 day. But number two, the reason why you kind of thought this was a dead cat bounce and you have to be prepared on the other side of the market, we didn't see any option flow, right? There was no significant option flow yesterday. Usually when there is natural aggressive call bull, bullish, right? Bullish bias. You see out of the money calls, left and right, short term expiration, weeklies, the following week. We didn't see any of that, right? So when we came into today, uh, the futures were down nothing, right? NASDAQ futures were down 
30 handles, nothing. It was a very, very light open. Uh, and then the data came out at 8.30 and then everything started to get hit. But here was where the day kind of unfolded. If you guys remember, and, and for all you guys uh, who get this email, get this recording that's part of uh, uh, Acts as a Trader, you, you get, you know, you have, you have the, the whole day's recording, right? The whole uh, day's video. And the one thing when you watch tonight's uh, morning strategy, you'll, you'll notice the one thing I kept on saying, nothing yet is below yesterday's channels. If you guys look pre-market, Apple was still above yesterday's channels. Microsoft was above yesterday's channels. The Qs were still above yesterday's channels. Tesla was above yesterday's channels. And just like that, those channels were gone. And next thing you know, an incre I mean, an incredible move, an absolute incredible move. Uh, this is a 60, all 60 minute candles uh, of the day. You saw a little bit of a short covering rally uh, off the lows uh, towards the end of the day, but boy, oh boy, the damage was done. Um, the Qs took down yesterday's, not only did it take down yesterday's channel that we talked about in last night's video, I'm sure Kyler is going to edit what we talked about this area in the start of this video, but not only did we take down yesterday's channel, we took down the, the channel below that, right? The channel below that, uh, Qs got destroyed, absolutely destroyed, traded all the way down uh, to 262. Uh, again, if you look at the measured potential where the next soft spot is, and again, like I said, is it possible we have like another quote unquote dead cat bounce tomorrow ahead of uh, ahead of uh, you know Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve? Yeah, sure, why not, right? But the point is, there's so much value to the downside, and and not not every stock yet has even taken down the previous day's channel yet. Uh, kind of going into tomorrow sessions, a lot of them did, right? All the notable ones. Amazon finally broke down. Tesla continues to get massacred, absolutely massacred, never rallied with the dead cat bounce, got massacred again today. We saw 115s coming in. I mean, we saw 120s, 115s coming in. I think somebody said they saw 110s coming in. I mean, short-term expiration, that thing is a mess. Big, big time uh, option flow coming in short-term on uh, on Apple, the 130s that were pounding. So yeah, I mean, bears are bears in control. You can, you can definitely see bears in control. And again, uh, and look, I, I don't know, a lot of you guys are brand new traders. Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't have a lot of experience in a bear market, but the one thing I will tell you, don't try to find the bottom, okay? You know how you find, you know how you know there's a bottom, that was a bottom? Months later, when everything reclaims back. So until we reclaim back the 50 day moving average, right? Any day, every day, if you keep on buying every single day, eventually you'll be right, right? It's like, it's like the, the rain dance in the desert. One day it will rain. One day, it could be three months, but one day it will rain. And that's the whole point of catching bottoms. Just don't, right? Don't catch bottoms. Nothing is cheap. When stocks are below the 50-day moving average, this is the first time you're watching this broadcast, it's nothing good happens, right? You might have a day or two, maybe even three of rallying, but ultimately, you know, stocks do get stuffed into supply and the ramifications are uh, lower prices. And again, if you look at the last time uh, we were below the 50-day moving average, it lasted from... Uh, August the 29th, uh, all the way to November 10th, right? We're only day what? What are we in day? Day one, two, three, four, five, six, right? We're in day six. So we're talking about August to November, and now we're only in day six. As you can see here, the soft landing spot for uh, the Qs, you know, 258, 255 to follow. And look at the bottom range here. We're not even at the bottom of the range here. The bottom of the range are the lows from October the 13th. That's the October CPI. So we're not even close to even the lows. So yeah, if you can't, if you don't think the stock market could go lower, it could. Again, look, I, I love a bull market just like everybody else. But again, like I say, you know, what I want and what I have are two different things. It's, again, trade the market you have, not the market uh, you want. So that's it. I mean, that's basically what it is uh, going into tomorrow. Uh, you know, again, I, I would love to see a year end rally just for, you know, just for everybody to feel good about themselves. So I get it. There's a lot of investors. A lot of investors are underwater. A lot of investors are underwater in technology. You know, Tesla, God knows how much it's even down. Uh, two weeks ago, it was down 60%. God knows how much it is now. So there's a lot of things coming in. But again, guys, there's phenomenal opportunities to the downside as well. You know, stocks take, you know, take the steps up and they take the elevator down. You know, and sometimes they take the waterfall down. Uh, and that's exactly what we had today. So let's talk about it, right? So we were prepared. Uh, we, would, we, we always prepare for the other side of the market. That's the most important part, guys. You, again, we're, we're not biased to one side of the market. And, and that's the most important part about being a trader. You could have an opinion. It could be wrong. 
right? But don't be, you know, don't be a mule, right? Don't be stubborn. Don't you know, be one of these traders that no matter what you think, you can't change your. You can always change your opinion. That's the that's the beautiful fluidity of the market. It's not like selling a house that's sitting on the market. You're hoping for that one buyer. You can go in and out of a security a million times if your heart desires. So so again, have an open mind and definitely trade both sides of the market. So this is it, right? This is how we started the day. Uh, QQQ. Uh, 269.74. That's the line in the sand. We talked about this last night on the video. Uh, for the bull, you know, bulls dead cat bounce from yesterday. If the bulls build below, we're gonna flush. That's I mean, that's that's basic technical analysis. We lost yesterday's channel, right? We lost yesterday 269.75 channel. Huge move. 262 got Q's got obliterated. Absolutely obliterated. Uh, obliter obliterated Thursday. Excuse me for my language. Tesla, and again, just a monster. 135.50, 135, if it builds below, can flush more. I mean, you guys see what's going on in Tesla. It's just, it looks like a forced liquidation. This thing went all the way down to 122. I mean, I personally would like this thing to, to kind of go sideways for a couple of days to resume down. Eventually, it's going to reverse eventually, right? It could be a week from now, it could be tomorrow, but eventually it's going to have a dead cat bounce. So we're just not seeing it. Tesla has literally had in the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's had two updates. I guess if you could call them updates uh, in the last in, in the last ten days. So you can see more liquidation, but phenomenal move today in Tesla. Uh, Amazon Mazel Tov. Finally, finally, Amazon 85, 20, 85. If it builds below, can see this week's lows. Not only did it take down this week's lows of 84.33 and went all the way down to 82 and change, I still like this thing going lower. You started seeing some 74s coming in for January, 77 puts coming in for January. Not a lot of faith in the bulls uh, going into the first quarter. Uh, Apple, 132.75, if it builds below, can flush. Right, here is Apple. Right, so here's the 172.75. It's traded all the way down to 130. It's still not even at last. It's not even at this week's lows yet. I'm definitely watching that for more uh, downside. Uh, Netflix was one of the one of the very few upside uh, pivots I put out there, and obviously never got close to there. Uh, crowd 104.35 for builds below can flush. I didn't trade this crowd. I, I didn't even see what it even did. I'm assuming it went lower, but I didn't even see it. Uh, 104. Yeah, it went down to 101.87. Yeah, if, you, if you took a guard, God bless. Uh, Nvidia got massacred, right? MU last night, uh, you know, basically said the same thing what every semiconductor said, blah, 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 we're cutting our workforce, blah, 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 blah. Right, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, uh, NVIDIA 160.90, if it builds below, can flush. Here was NVIDIA, took out the 60.90, this thing went to 148, just an incredible, incredible move. And the last one was Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft was the last one, 238.40. If it builds below, can flush. Here it was Microsoft. Everything got hit. Everything got hit. So it took down this 238.40, traded all the way down uh, to 233 and change. Just an incredible, incredible wash. Uh, like I said, finally, right? Finally, Amazon. So moral of the story is, guys, yes, the market, we are underneath the 50-day moving average on all indexes. Uh, the predominant action is going to be the downside. We say this all the time. We're not naive. We're always expecting dead cat bounces and early morning reverses. And if that's the case, we adjust to it. And like I said in last night's video, I think a lot of you guys, especially new traders, have found this out in, in the webinar. If you're faced with, like today was a trend day. Why is it a trend day? Because we're below the 50-day moving average. That is the trend. The trend is down. When you have a reverse trend day like yesterday, it's going to be the hardest day you're going to trade because dead cat bounces could be 50 cents, could be $50, it could be nothing, right? And you don't know how long they're going to last. So the best time to kind of debrief yourself, to kind of decompress the mind, is leave those dead cat bounds days alone. It's like trying to play, it's like playing a 2-7 offsuit, but you're bluffing Phil Ivey. Phil Ivey tends to be the market right now. You're bluffing the market that you have the better hand. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, maybe you win, maybe you lose, but the point is there's much easier trend days ahead and today it's played out really, really well. Guys, God bless. Uh, everybody, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Guys, Merry Christmas. Obviously, next week is the last week of the year. And for all you guys who are thinking about, um, you know, checking out pivots uh, in the next few days, it will be the last uh, trial sale for the season. That's it. Uh, it'll be the last trial day for the season. It'll go through, it'll, it'll probably go through uh, New Year's Eve, right? It'll probably go through New Year's Eve. And then we won't have one until like Labor Day or like Memorial Day. So, 
Uh, take advantage if you are if you ever considered trying pivots and thinking if it's a good fit for you I promise you it's not for everybody if you have a small account the tiny account you're probably better other other choices but the point is if you are uh, if you are interested in seeing if it's a good for you you'll see uh, you'll see the trial being this kind of trial put on in the next few days guys God bless stay safe Merry Christmas I know it's not politically correct to say these days right people will get offended somebody will get offended but damn it Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, God bless. Talk to you tomorrow.